Hi, my name is Adora Svitok. Ever since I was as little as I can remember, I've been devouring books of poetry. One of my favorite poets, Langston Hughes, wrote a poem in 1951 called Harlem, and in it he asked a very poignant question that has stuck with me since I first read it. What happens to a dream deferred? Now as I look back at my own life, I realize that mine has been a story of anything but dreams deferred. I was intensely lucky that when I was seven years old and I walked up to my mom as she was doing stuff in the kitchen and I said, I want to publish a book, that she didn't look at me and say, you know, honey, you should maybe wait until you're older, as so many other kids probably heard from their parents or their teachers or their friends. Instead, my story is one of dreams reached, dreams that came true, because nobody told me, wait until you're older, no you can't. In many ways, it was a preservation of that kind of naivete we all have when we're little, the kind of naivete that I said we can really look at as a plus, not a minus, in my TED talk in 2010. Now that I'm 15, I definitely see the plus side of having things like knowledge and experience and maybe a little bit of skepticism too, but I think it's worth noting that a lot of the traits we think of as negatives that adults have put down, especially when they come from our generation, things like being impulsive, being naive can actually be strengths and not weaknesses. As you ask yourself how you want to make your dreams come true, you have to have a fair amount of that courage to forge ahead into worlds that you don't know or maybe don't understand. If we told ourselves, I have to wait to understand something completely before I think about trying to change anything or discover anything, then many of our world's greatest inventions wouldn't have been found. Because ultimately when we start tinkering to discover and to learn, when we venture into those unknown places, when we have the naivete that powers us forward, that makes us ask our parents if we can publish a book, just like all of our favorite authors, that's when amazing things happen. That's when, as cheesy as it sounds, dreams really do come true. You don't need to go to Disney World to find the happiest place on earth or where magic happens. If you yourself can hold on to those tidbits of creativity and childish imagination that allow us to all go further. So don't let someone tell you that just because you're a teenager, just because you're impulsive or naive or too connected on your phone or your computer or social media that you can't have an impact on the world just yet. After all, we don't want to see what happens to dreams deferred. We want to see what happens when we can accomplish our dreams. So find a way to start today. In my case, it happened with publishing a book when I was seven. Now that I'm a teenager in high school who sees a lot of problems as well as solutions in the education system around me, I focused on student voice and education, trying to bring voices like yours and mine to the education reform discussion so that we hear as much about education from students as we do from teachers and parents and politicians. That's a personal cause that I think a lot of people can relate to, because to bring it back to the dream deferred, as we walk into our classrooms, we're often doing things, we're solving our equations, we're writing our papers that we don't see have impact on the real world. The chance that you have today at a TEDx event like the one that you're at right now is to make sense of your dreams, to talk to other people, to bounce off ideas, to listen and to share ideas worth spreading. This is an opportunity that you might have never had before, and it's worth seizing every moment. So I highly encourage you to question, what are the things that we consider you gain with age, and what do we always kind of want to lose? And maybe you'll want to hold on to a few things that make you childish, such as naivete, imagination, impulsivity, because those dreams are out there, and you might need all those ingredients to help you reach them.